Okay, Blackstar software for you folks. Go ahead. Okay, so um, we've been listening to the ID Core, both ID Core and the ID Series amplifiers. We've got a USB, micro USB socket on the front. You attach USB into your PC or Mac. Um, runs on uh, any PC or Mac. Um, there's some system requirements on Blackstar Insider.co.uk, but um, it's not particularly. Uh, PC heavy with regards to needing yeah. good spec, so it's it's accessible for everybody. Uh, this is our Insider software. Um, so it, as I mentioned earlier, allows you to deep edit more settings, organize your sounds, and have an, uh, some extra cool um, practice and playback features as well, which we'll talk about. Um, you'll notice the first thing here is a sort of a simulated amp panel, uh, because the software is shared between ID Core and ID Series as well. Um, you'll see we're in ID Core at the moment, which doesn't have all the true valve power control, so you'll see it's it's greyed out here. So if I plugged an ID series in, you would have this as well. But traditional front panel, you'll notice the voice control that you can see on the, on the amp. You've got gain and volume. Here, I mentioned earlier that you get a extended EQ section when you use the Insider software for ID Core. The amp itself has ISF control on the on the panel, but you get bass, middle, and treble access here. Um, which are all controllable. Simply click and change the settings. I'll leave it 12 o'clock for now. Um, you'll also see that the compact effects section on the panel has been broken out into uh, a more traditional signal chain, which you have choice of effects types up here for your modulation, delay, and your reverbs, which are modulation, delay, and reverb effects here. You'll maybe notice that it is a traditional right to left signal chain. Um, some and people don't do that. not just for Britain. <laughs> That's the world. <laughs> We're not just crazy who drive on the left. This real signal chain going this way. So I can change the moment I have phaser, a linear delay, and a plate reverb. If I want to change my phaser to a tremolo, I can do that from here. You'll see the, the, the pedals changing type. Yep. And I then have the controls that you can edit from uh, the, the panel with the segment control and with the level control and the tap for the rate um, and on some of the effects also additional parameters like with a flanger you have a manual uh, LFO position control um, that you can't get from the amp actually so it's, it's a deep editing software but I can then choose to turn the effect on or off simply by stomping and obviously the front panel reacts I can change the rate just by tapping in a different rate or changing the speed knob will affect that and then I've got pitch, depth control and I can set up my uh, effects section from here rather than the, the panel if I want to. Gives you infinite amount of room to play. And it gives dig you into enough. It. <laughs> yeah I, I think the point In is... In addition um, you brought online storage of um, settings as well. Absolutely yeah. Which means that users can get rated sounds similar as um, other companies do as well. Um, the one thing that I found in the software, which I haven't seen before, and it's a feature that I like, is compare to sounds. It's like audition, as you said. It is audition, yeah. Um, which means you select two different sounds that are not loaded on one of the storage positions in the amp, that are fully controlled through the laptop, and you swap them while you play to find out which one you like more. Give us an That's example exactly because it. and yeah. and this time I must say you, you might be surprised because um, normally you would sort of um, interact between two sounds that are pretty close together mm -hmm. to find out what yeah. you use, <laughs> but to make it hearable for you that change uh, between the two uh, sounds that we've chosen, um, the change is a bit more drastic. That's it. So the idea for this feature um, links back to how we we develop products, how we engineer products, um, and how we always conduct any listening or testing processes um, with a current version that we're testing uh, and a reference. It's called A-B testing. I'm, I'm, I'm testing product A against product B. Um, and that's how we have a reference point for knowing uh, what's good, what sounds right, what sounds better um, during the whole process. And that goes for everything we do. And 
we've extended it for this for uh, users who either have two similar sounds, as you say, or want to have take somebody's sound maybe off the online uh, community that we have or one of our artist patches, but they want to just tweak it to be a little bit more personal. You can use the compare setting to load one patch and select a second one to compare it against. Over here in the library section, the left side I have the uh, the patches that are stored in the amplifier that I can turn the amplifier off, disconnect the cable, take it away, and the patches still live in memory. On the right side here, I have all of the patches that I store on the local hard drive of the, uh, the Mac I've got here at the moment, um, which means you can create as many as you want, as big as your hard drive is, all the files are tiny, um, you can create as many as you want and use this area to decide which pa patches you want in the memory and you can synchronize from your local machine over to the amp or you can drag amp memory patches into your local library and it's from here you can upload your patches to the online community um, create an account simply right click and upload to community and that will go on your personal yeah. account okay we come back to the uh, changing the options um, again we've loaded two sounds or we're gonna load two sounds that we want to compare and audit so here is a sound called clean twang <laughs> Clean and twangy. Let's load uh, one of our artists, Bob Mould. Here is a super crunch patch. Right click and compare, which will then load the Bob Mould patch, which is sounding a little like this. <laughs> I then want to flick back to my original patch, click this button. When I'm finished comparing, exit compare mode and I'm back to clean. I've got a request. Please. Put an auto toggle every 10 seconds on there to be applied. <laughs> A, a user I like my free hands playing guitar. Maybe uh, MIDI controlled, we could do that, because this uh, ID series has MIDI <laughs> on the foot controller. Something like that. <laughs> Just to, to avoid going to back to the computer while using the compare function. We could look at that. Alrighty. Thanks.